Hello everyone, I am the Holy Cow, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 1 on the Insane Trilogy. Last time, we managed to get to Slippery Climb and die. This time, hopefully, we get to the fourth... Well, I keep saying fourth, this is, the, this is my second take. But hopefully we get to the fifth boss. This is my second take. What happened to the first one, you might ask? Ah, oh, capture card issues. So my life count is actually lower than it was. It was like 93 before. And not to help the fact that my controller has a pretty low battery, and I did not change it out. Fuck. But, we are still doing Slippery Climb. Oh, some people say it's the hardest level in the base game. And not to mention the fact, I said I'll be doing Stormy Ascent when I finish this. So, yeah, I'm not that smart. Be asking why am I going to do Stormy Ascent? Because Stormy Ascent is actually a fun level. And people love watching others get tortured while playing games. I think we're trying a challenge I saw for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And that is a Nuzlocke challenge. And let's restart the level now because I can get the red gem now. I am just getting the best of luck today. So, how was everyone? <clears throat> As you guys can probably tell, I'm a little bit sick. But I felt like some. felt like playing some Crash Bandicoot 1. So here we are. I am hoping, hoping that we can finish this game today and move on to the second one. Oh, not even this episode, just today, in this recording session. Because Crash Bandicoot 2 is my favorite of the three, and I was a bit bummed out when I saw that Crash Bandicoot 1 and 3 got a brand new level, but not Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash got Stormy Ascent. Crash Bandicoot Warped to got Future Frenzy or something like that. And that level was actually pretty cool. Crash Bandicoot 2 didn't get anything. You know, it's true what people say. It's harder to play a game while commentating. But that's what makes less playing fun, in my opinion. Because you're not going to be great at everything. Just do your best, commentate, let everyone poke fun at you later, go from there. Okay, that, that bit was a bit hard. Oh my god. And let's do it again, shall we? Like, the fact I was able to do it twice without failing to say something. I think we should start trying to take everything a little bit slowly. Ah. <sighs> 
There we go! Finally! Die. I don't trust it. So, yesterday was a football game. Yes, I'm going to do something about this. I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. And while I don't religiously watch football or really watch many football games this season, but I am a Cowboys fan. And when I saw the Cowboys win that much against the Giants, it said something. Because a friend of mine is a Giants fan. At least he said he was, and I was going to be a Patriots fan, which I kind of hope not. The Patriots, in my opinion, are not a good team. <clears throat> I'm sorry, they are a good team. Because they cheat a lot to win. Okay, how do I do that without dying? So I feel like the easy parts, but I died the hard ones. I feel like the easy parts, but get past the hard bit. There we go, I English. And back to none of lives we are. And there we are, the hardest color gem in this game. Oh, I'm proud of myself for that. <clears throat> I'm extremely proud of myself for that. That's now what, four color gems? Yes. And here we are, lights out. As my voice gets very raspy. Lights Out is a interesting level. There aren't too many boxes, but it's extremely platforming heavy. But these levels have good music. Okay, I'm outside there. I'm outside there. Concentration, concentration, concentration. Concentration, concentration. Kidding me? How to forget there was a yellow gem pod here? Who even is the yellow gem? I don't remember. I'll continue anyway, shall we? Let's see if the gem is actually possible on this level or not. No, 
know, I'm not happy right now with this game. Oh, gem is in. <clears throat> Jaws of darkness. Why can't I go up there? Okay. So I have two more color gems left to get. The one that we obviously just missed because of needing a yellow gem and the yellow gem, whatever that may be. And then after that, we're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking. To actually complete every other level. Why would we be doing that exactly? But this is a 100% let's play. As people outside are doing construction, of course. As I always choose the best times to record. Oh my god, I love this game though. Come on, thank you. Come on! I'm glad that in this game, you can actually walk off a ledge and then jump. <laughs> that was just my fault. That was literally my fault. And I do it twice! Oh my god! Let's not talk about that, shall we? I just realized if I play Crash Bandicoot 2, it's gonna be one level I'm not gonna be looking forward to, and ugh. At least we don't have to go back to this level. I don't have to do this level again. Please tell me that thing responds. Cause I am smart today! <sighs> quality content, right? That's what everyone's here for, quality content, seeing me die way too many times at platforming. Oh, 
People say this game is easy. Don't believe them. I swear I'm better than this. I swear I'm better than this. I swear I'm better than this. I think I remember where it is. I think I remember where it is, and if I'm correct about this, it pissed me off the first time I played this too. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I missed it. I don't think I missed it yet. Am I being delusional? I could be. I knew it! Now I have all three and I lost five lives in this level, at least. <laughs> well, I said we're going to be doing the uh, fifth boss today, right? Uh, maybe not. I literally was on that platform too. What have we got? And I died that many times. Oh, this is one spectacular episode. Oh, aren't you guys glad you got to watch this? The sad thing is that these games are my childhood, and for me to be dying this much sucks. Finally, am I right? How do you do this one? I don't remember. Okay, this first part I remember. It's the second part that I don't. Oh, okay, I remember. I think I remember now. I think I do. 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 Okay, 
Ok, ça va évoluer. Jump. Ok, ok. Ah, ah. At least I figured it out. That's a good thing. At least I figured it out. And I fuck it up for the next time I try it. I should not be recording today. I really should not be recording today. Uh, this would be a scrapped recording if I didn't make progress. Thank you for the key. I really appreciate it. Now let me hope I can finish this level without dying more. At least I was only missing 22 boxes. I feel like I was. This is gonna be what I'm gonna get in the I'm gonna get that in between episodes. Right there, I believe, is the next boss. So, if we can get there today... Yes, I was on purpose. I wanted to show it off. If we can get to Brio by the end of this episode, because I believe that's the next boss, then I'll be doing it, and after that I'll be ending the episode, I'll get the gem in between episodes, and I will show it. If we don't get there, then I believe the level after that should be the last one before Puyo. And all I know is that this is going to be the last actual level of this episode. I'm just upset with myself after that. Come on. 
And to be honest, I don't think we're gonna be doing a uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, like right after I finish these games, for one reason or reason only. I have a plan to do something else on my channel starting next Friday. So next Friday we're going to be seeing something that isn't crash related and I just... That is if everything goes well to plan. It might be a blind playthrough, it might not be. I don't think it will be. <gasps> what? Fuck this game! I swear to god, if I'm fucking missing a box. That, I'm okay with. And I spawn right afterwards. Wow, okay. I see how it is, game. Yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed with this game right now. Because I'm not that bad at this game. I have no idea what's going on. Could it be an LP curse? Probably. Would I be surprised if that's what it is? Hell no. There we are. Now we're gonna have Brio after this. Seventy five percent through this game. You get that trophy for getting thirteen gems, I wanna say? Yes, Brio, so we're gonna end this episode beating Brio. Who, in my opinion, is one of the easiest bosses in the original game. And someone I found a bit of a... Eh, boss in this game. I know, I just don't like those. I, f I find those hard to jump on. <laughs> Of course, I would die right there. You can't even jump with those in the air. I prefer how those looked in the original game, though, so. And they were actually just blobs and not something that had a face on it. That's what I get for talking shit about it. Come on, throw them. Shit. 
And people we'll bite at the end of the boss too. The actual easy bit in my opinion was right there. Yes, I am certain this game hates me. There we go, finally! Yes, I always found this part to be the easiest part of the boss fight! Maybe if his controls they got be good. Maybe. That's my only hope right now. I am sucking terribly today. I'm determined to finish Bree on this episode, because I did not think he would take this long. What happened to Tiptoe and Crash? What happened? And of course, I died before a part that I, I got hit before the part that I needed it for. Okay, this time let's actually not talk shit. Come on, come here, come here. Finally! And just like that, Brio is dead. This is the end of the episode. There's the yellow gem. We will collect that next time.